And finally tonight, some of the challenges and some eye-opening technology at Twitter. Shares of the microblogging site tumbled today, falling 9%, lowest price since it's wrapped up its first day of trading back in November. That is after disappointing investors late Tuesday with lower than forecast user growth and a weaker outlook, despite revenue doubling last quarter. Still, CEO Dick Costolo offered a positive spin on the earnings report and talked about what Twitter needs to focus on right now. I'm focused on three things, growth, operating efficiency, and operating leverage. That second and third are absolutely in service to steadily improving margins, steadily improving margins. So as a high growth company, what I want to make sure we're doing is not starving the growth engine while constantly focusing internally on getting better, better and better at operating efficiency and operating leverage in service to margins. Now, we all know that news travels faster than ever these days, and Twitter can now see exactly how fast, giving us a look at its heat map of tweets moving around the world whenever big news breaks or even after the break of dawn. Is response to uh, the Adam Silver press conference yesterday about Donald Sterling. We know that people go to Twitter to talk about big events like the Oscars, but when news happens, so for instance that, was the uh, reaction to the word ban for life. That's the moment he says that's ban for life. That's the moment life. he says ban for life. People respond immediately on Twitter. And that's something that's really unique. You know, it's a place where people can discuss this stuff as it happens. And then the conversation sort of lingers for the rest yeah, of the press conference. Exactly. And you could see there's a kind of tail off. You get that peak and that spike when that amazing phrase happened and, and it changes. And it's not a California story. It's, it's not a California story. It's that, in fact, if you zoomed out, you get the whole world. So, but you, know, you can see it's spread uniformly across America, even, you know, Cuba and down here. Right. Interesting. Off the bottom of the map as well. This next map is. So this is uh, regular Beyonce chatter. You might remember she released her album online uh, last year. And, but then you can see what happens when the album's dropped. This is normal. This is normal Beyonce chatter. And then suddenly the album's dropped and the whole world's talking about it, not just in the States, but in London, Istanbul, you know, South Africa, around the globe. It became a major talking point. And then finally, a third map here. Well, the great thing about Twitter is you can almost set your watch to it. So this is people tweeting the word sunrise as dawn spreads across the world. So you can see it happen across Europe there. And then it's just about to hit America, people tweeting the word sunrise. So I guess in the past, you would have turned to your friend and said, what a beautiful sunrise, and now you'd tweet it. That was Carl Quintanilla, amazing technique. Who knew that Beyonce was big in Turkey? I guess she's big everywhere, global star. So cool. I mean, it's sort of like the sun never sets on Twitter empire, no, right? No, indeed. <laughs>